Good morning from the day that the Lord has made. I will rejoice and be glad in it. This is the day, this is the day that the Lord has made. Per. I even had to put my mic on to tell you about how good God is. I will never stop saying <laughs> God is so good. God is too good yo guys i'm so happy like i'm so happy i'm so joyful i'm so grateful i'm so content like yo i have peace in my soul like it is well with my soul uh, and all thanks to god you know i'm just thinking about how i was in such a bad place in june in that other vlog and now i'm just in such a great space like and it's not just because of the things that god is doing and the gifts that he's blessing me with but just like my heart my mind my mental my spiritual my emotional like i'm in such a good place i'm so happy i'm so grateful i'm so content like i've been saying i feel blessed you know and it's not even that external circumstances has changed it's not like anything particularly different is happening like i'm still temporarily out of money because we're not going to use that b word i'm still waiting on the money that is coming to me <laughs> that i'm going to receive you know i'm still getting invited to events by the time it was june i was still getting invited to events anyways nothing really has changed you know externally but internally i'm just yo i'm in a great place and i'm so grateful and i'm just thinking to myself as i was journaling i looked back on my journal and i realized that in june i think it was in june because i didn't do a journal entry for july because usually every month i write like my prayer for the month and in june i had just prayed for that i was like god please just give me joy please just give me contentment give me peace you know and that's literally what i'm experiencing right now and i'm just so so happy anyways today's such an exciting day because you get to spend the day with a superstar per not me waking up to another event invite this morning as if i didn't already have two events to go to today so obviously i can't go to that one because it's happening at the exact same time as another event i'd already rsvp'd to but that event seemed exciting because it was a samsung event but next time because honestly at this rate at the rate that i'm going <laughs> each and after every week is going to be another event there will always be more events so i'm good with missing out on it because i know more are going to come so today we are going to two events one in santon city and then one at monte casino we are going to be going to the launch of pick and pay clothing's new store as well as the launch of their designer collab and they're going to have a fashion show and all of that good stuff and then we are going to our very first movie premiere <laughs> how exciting my friend asked me to be his plus one which is also just so crazy like it's so crazy how subtly life changes like i'm thinking to myself like i used to watch you know influencers content creators vlogs see them go to all these events to all these cool stuff and just think like yo if only my vlogs could look like that you know even when i wanted to be serious about social media again and i said to god i really want to be a lifestyle vlogger i want to be a lifestyle content creator but my life is so boring like i don't do anything and god said i I bet he said bet and you know what i've been having such a fascinating life literally all the event invites he's blessed me with even just travels like i had put traveling on my vision board this year alone i've been to two places already i went to zim i went to botswana i'm going to go to cape town this week that's going to be my third place god willing there's a fourth place coming so it's just like wow man i'm just in awe and like he's just given me things to do like i was really like i want to be a lifestyle vlogger what am i going to vlog about 
about and god said i'll give you things to vlog about because where he guides he provides and fully honestly and truly he has been giving me things to do where i don't even have to spend a cent like it's literally crazy and yeah man i'm just yo i'm just so grateful and it's also just so crazy like the very same people or like you know content creators tiktokers whatever that i would watch on my phone and be like oh this person is so funny this person this this person that are the very same people now supporting me you know inviting me to these events you know putting me on like it's crazy like in what world do you get to be the plus one to a tiktoker with over like a million followers like they could have gone with anyone to this event and they said you know what girl i see you going places i want to invite you like that's crazy that's favor that's literally god's grace literally god's grace so yeah i'm super excited to be a plus one and i'm also super excited to go to an event and have a plus one i decided to invite somebody from my creators of africa community because the whole point of that community was to lift as i rise and i did say that you know if god would bless me like i want to be a blessing to others and i want to help others as well so yeah i'm going with someone from my community to the first event and i'm super excited for that and i'm just grateful to be in the position to be able to give other people opportunities as well and i feel like it's part of the prophetic word that i received from god but i will share that word one day when the whole vision comes true oh i'm running out of space but yeah that's what we're up to today so we're just gonna spend the day together and it's gonna be so much fun and then i need to bath eat all of that good stuff then we'll start getting ready and we're gonna have an amazing day per but while i wait for the water to get hot let me campaign for some votes guys for the award that i'm going to win period just so that it's fair you know what i mean but how can life even be fair when you're a child of god because when you're a child of god you have god's favor you have god's grace like you already at an unfair advantage but you know we gotta do what we gotta do so let me campaign for these votes child and then i will go and shower see you then bye for now Alrighty, so now that we are full and we've got energy to get the day going, we're about to get ready. I'm going to film a <laughs> get ready with me for TikTok, so I'm just setting that up now. So in this vlog, you are going to get ready without me, <laughs> but you can see the get ready with me on TikTok, and I just want to like unpack God's goodness, you know. I just want to do like a get ready with me while I unpack god's goodness because no actual ways guys god is just too good yo not me not knowing how to use a tripod <laughs> yeah no because god is just too good <sighs> i also still need to fetch my brother in about an hour or a little bit less so i just want to start my makeup and see how far i can get at least if i get myself a head start and then i will go and pick him up because one thing about me i'm always late and i really hate that for me for my brand for everything like it's, just, it's just not cute you know so today i really want to be on time so that's why i'm getting ready now and then when we come back because it's still quite early it's like a little after one and then when i come back we will decide on an outfit and that outfit has to work for both events that we are going to tonight you know what it's so crazy just like life is just so crazy anyways i'm gonna be recording this i'm gonna sit on a stool i just don't know how to position did i put it properly 
maybe not it's so crazy like i'm just thinking to myself how i'm filming this like in my parents bathroom and i'm going to be sitting on this like stool and it's just so crazy how like well, that's not the way it goes this is work you see when you don't create content in a while like you literally forget how to use your equipment but yeah i'm sitting on this stool in my parents bathroom creating this content but you know what in my head i'm just like i'm sitting on like a vanity chair in the beauty room in my apartment you know and that's just what i'm really like looking forward to and hoping for and just continuing to work for because i know that God gonna bless me regardless like i don't really have that kind of stubborn faith okay so i can sit here but now my phone is not it's not recording like i don't know because where am i gonna put the mirror also because i can't really see this is so tough i'm just gonna put it it's too high <laughs> Oh, being a content creator is so stressful. Oh my god. Let me see if I can't put it down here. This kind of works, but you know what i'm actually realizing that time is not on my side so i'm going to pick my brother up from school i'm going to change and then pick my brother up from school i so wish i could pick him up in a gown like <laughs> why we gotta be so formal but yeah i'm going to change pick my brother up from school and then i'll come back and do the get ready with me and makeup and whatever and at least know that i have a lot of hours to get ready and like not be rushed or anything my only beef was like having him screaming or whatever in the background but it's just like it's live like there's nothing i can do really i just have to make a plan but yeah let me go pick him up and then the next time you see me i will be ready or my face at least will be ready and then we will pick an outfit a few moments later hey besties i'm back from fetching my brother from school and as you can see i'm in my content creator era i'm just filming a get ready without me slash outfit of the night type of thing for the gram But it's in those little things that if we look for God there, we will always find him. I love the way you activate your hips and push your ass out Got a brother won't miss so bad I'm about to pass out Wanna dig you and I can't even lie about it Baby just alleviate your clothes, I'm the fly about it Catch you at the club, your hips have got me feeling Body talking quick to me but I can't comprehend the meaning Now if you wanna roll with me, then here's your chance Do an 80 on the freeway, catch me if you can But give me, I'm a rider, still I'm just a simple man All I want is money plus the fame, I'm a simple man Mr. International, player with the passport Just like a Latin switch, get you anything you ask for Either him or me, the champagne, Hennessy Favorite of my homies when we floss on our enemies Witness as we creep to a low speed beat What my foes need, make some OGs funk you don't need Approaching women with the passion, been a long day But I've been driven by attraction in a strong way Your body God will show up, you know, and probably he already has showed up But we're just not acknowledging it as God And we're just rubbing it off as a coincidence 
as opposed to being like yeah this was god you know <gasps> Ta-da! We are ready to party. I'm kidding, it's not a party. <laughs> but yeah, this is the OOTD chat. I decided to be in my superhero era, you know what I'm saying? Anyways, we are ready to go. I'm just gonna have a quick mac and cheese before I leave the house. Cause one thing about events, child, you better eat before you leave the house. But I'm so proud of myself for being ready relatively early. I realized that I literally need like three hours to get ready <laughs> and I can be on time without being rushed. So let me have that quick meal and then let us head out. Only. Yes. Strength and softness. Strength and softness. All right, Lily, Women's Month. Love everything. Um, a better understanding of everything, especially wearing the clothing myself as well. Um, I feel light, you know, it's not heavy, it is a breeze, um, it's different, it's loud, talking about the confidence as well, um, from the colors as well, but otherwise, where to from here for the both of you? Um, take your time when you answer this because this is a big opportunity. I think life changing for many women who look up to you, many people who look up to you as well, Kev. Take your time, way too from here, because trust me, all eyes on both of you. <laughs> um, I think for me, after this experience, it just highlighted knowing where you want to go. I think for me, with my brand and who I am as a designer, just understanding the future that I want, the kind of identity that I want out there. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we're about to do it. There's a moment, there's a Are you ready? Are you ready? Can you just say, I found many for me? I found many. Yes! In three, two, one. Let's go. So we are done with event number one. 
I'm sure I spent like <laughs> 20 minutes there. So now I am getting the parking ticket so that I can pay and head to event number two at Monte Casino. At least, where is my parking ticket, chat? At least Monte Casino is not too far from Santon City, so I won't be too late. It's quarter past seven now, and this next event starts at half past seven for eight. So I'm sure even though I was late for this event, because I was literally lost, <laughs> hopefully I'll be on time for this event. So see you guys at the movie premiere. Spend the day with me as a superstar day off edition this is how me and my friends spend a day off but is it really a day off if i'm creating content the only real days off are the ones that you don't see but anyways it's giving steph curry with the shots boy it's giving michael b jordan or michael jordan whoever the basketball player is but your girl was getting it okay unemployment has such good pr but it's really hoping your card doesn't decline when you're paying for these midweek activities or transferring things from your savings please look at how careless men are without our feelings that's literally how they play with us the way des is playing these games <laughs> we were waiting for two of our other friends to arrive so once they arrived they got their tokens and we were back to playing games we did bumper cars this was so much fun guys the bumper cars were bumping okay i actually think i got hurt like i genuinely got hurt during this time and also shout out to the lady that took these shots she understood the assignment she's probably the real content creator here this shot was giving boo Boot up, da 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 da. Boot up. Someone needs to put me in a music video ASAP. Anyways, love that shot. Love being out with content creators because they understand the assignment. And then there was this game that had the girls in a chokehold. But I get it because you literally get so many tickets. All you have to do is put the coin into the game thing, and the more coins that you drop, the more tickets you get. And as you can see, we had so many tickets. I'm sure we could have gone around the arcade. Here we are counting up the tickets tickets as if we're counting checks rich off content 2023 the next morning there is no ways that my life is actually real like there's no ways that this is real life <laughs> i'm literally living a dream i literally feel like i'm dreaming like tomorrow morning i'm gonna wake up and realize i've been dreaming the whole time because life just feels so surreal right now like i can't even believe i'm saying this but spend the day with me at my first national radio interview at one of south africa's biggest radio stations what <laughs> that's crazy 
that's crazy and god is so crazy like i literally woke up this morning in tears child like i was just crying because i was just so overwhelmed with gratitude like god this is my real life like god this me like who am i that you would bless me like this like <laughs> I'm literally so shocked i was listening to promises by maverick city music i was listening to thank you by maverick city music even just the thought of it like gets me emotional like i'm just so shocked that this is my life and i'm just like so grateful more than anything especially because of the wilderness season i've been in the isolation season and now it finally feels like i'm walking into the promised land and god is so faithful like he really does fulfill all his promises and every word that he speaks will come to pass period wow and then on top of that we're going to cape town tomorrow like <laughs> and that's another thing that i really really wanted and i remember writing on my close friends that i will have the best month of my life in september and one of the things i wrote down is that i will go to cape town to celebrate um obviously i'm going now in the last week of august but the fact that it's something that i wanted and wrote down and it's actually coming to pass is insane to me i don't even know how we're going to start a new vlog because this camera has no space child literally no space but obviously i'm just gonna have to make a plan but yeah man i'm just so excited i'm so happy i'm so grateful i'm in a good space and i just wow just wow that's literally all i can say anyways so our interview is at quarter to four but i need to be there by half past three and knowing me mrs always late that means i need to leave the house at like 3 p.m if not before two and rather wait there because otherwise it's scenes i need to find something to wear i just want something like cute and casual you know i'm thinking of like jeans and a black shirt and loafers kind of vibe or like jeans and a white bodysuit and sneakers like just something cute you know just for the photo that i'm gonna take to say <laughs> thank you for having me you know oh guys life is just so great right now and i'm just wow i'm literally so grateful so in the previous vlog where we went for events and stuff i said to you guys that i might hang out with the people i was hanging out with again the next day so we actually did end up hanging out and we had such a fun day like oh my gosh i had the most fun day i really needed that i really needed to de-stress but i didn't end up vlogging because it was just going to be too much but i did make a tiktok vlog so you can check it out on my tiktok also i love hanging out with tiktokers like they are literally the nicest people they're so genuine so down to earth so ah, oh, just so lovely man and it's always so nice connecting with other creatives and just making friends with people who get it you know so you don't feel weird like you have people to talk to about certain things so i'm super excited we might also do the content creator awards together yo this vlog hey <laughs> when is it going to come out <laughs> but yeah we might also do the content creator awards together we want to get accommodation so that we don't have to go home after the awards so yeah i can't even believe i'm saying these types of things in my vlogs like it's literally crazy to me i was even saying on my threads the other day like i used to watch my favorite content creators and vloggers and look at their content and see them going to events see them doing all these fun things and just be like yo that's so fun i wish my vlogs could look like that and now my vlogs are looking like that like it's just crazy guys like also how subtly life changes and like you literally won't realize it unless you actually stop to take a moment and deep it and be like wow my life has changed wow i'm living in answered prayers like unless you actually stop and realize that wow even the people i was hanging out with yesterday i was thinking to myself it's so crazy like when i went to the dstv emerging creators workshop like these were people on a panel you know teaching us how to be better with content creation and inspiring us as upcoming content creators like how is it that one Day, you're watching people on a panel and then the next day you're battling it out in the arcade with them like how does life just change like that like <laughs> oh my gosh guys it's crazy but i'm so grateful and i'm so happy and yeah spend the day with me yo i also need to pack because our flight is early tomorrow morning so i have to pack by tonight so yeah i haven't even planned my outfits child i don't even know what i'm doing in cape town i'm just going at this point i'm literally just going but yeah so today's just going to be a spend the day with me i woke up like i said to you i just journaled i did my devotions um i haven't prayed oh my god but yeah i journaled i did my devotions i listened to some worship music i'm probably gonna go have some breakfast now decide on an outfit and yeah i was also writing a script for a tiktok vlog i want to make a tiktok because i need to get through my content because i'm gonna need space for cape town content you get it so yeah i'm under a lot of pressure content wise because i have a 
backlog an unbelievable backlog of content but yeah hopefully by god's grace and strength i will get through it so yeah i just want to create some videos today and hopefully create some space and yeah but today's a good day this is the day that the lord has made i will rejoice and be glad in it oh this is the day this is the day that the lord has made ha guys honestly in this life don't give up don't quit because you can literally go from zero to 100 in a minute in a minute we literally serve a god of suddenly like suddenly your life can change never forget that took off my jeans and there it was a big red stain now, this issue red stain stain this issue Alrighty, so I've made some progress with packing, although I am definitely not done, but I am still definitely going to film a get ready with me for a radio interview. Per <laughs> it's two o'clock now, well, almost two o'clock, like quarter to two, so I only have like about an hour before I want to leave the house. I'm getting so nervous, like, <laughs> I'm getting so nervous. Like, I literally have butterflies in my stomach. I don't know why I feel so anxious, but yeah, I'm just trying to tell myself I'm excited. I'm excited to share my story, I'm excited to chat, you know. So, yeah, I just want to film a get ready with me for my cute casual fit i just decided to wear like mom jeans i'm gonna wear a black shirt and like loafers so it's just gonna look cute i'll try to show you before i leave the house but yeah let us film a get ready with me for instagram and then i will probably see you guys again when i'm leaving the house <laughs> ah oh, this is so insane hi friends 20 past two and we are done getting ready point blank purr we're really good for time i just want to eat something before i leave because i feel like kind of a little bit hungry i'm also realizing that this shirt needs to be ironed <laughs> this shirt actually needs to be ironed so i also need to do that quickly before i leave but we're good for time this is the ootd let me show y'all this is the OOTD per it's just giving cute casual sophisticated grown betty you get me oh you guys can't even see it properly let me even go back so that you get the full picture of the outfit sorry the lighting is a bit bad because this is backlit but you get the points. Let me bring you guys this way. Okay, the lighting was on the other side, so let me try to show you from this way. Period. It's giving superstar classy influencer or whatever it's me realizing that i forgot to record something for my get ready with me oh my goodness okay but at least my camera's still on my tripod so let me do that quickly let me get the shirt ironed let me eat 
let's leave because this is something we cannot be late to let me take it slowly yeah blower also babo jones hold on kill a pair range of is that or far about it don't worry i'm a big dog i'm gonna take it to my room now i'm gonna ask one already guys we are off to nine four seven half a stereo Alrighty guys, we are off to 947 to do our interview. My shirt is and I'm looking good, I'm smelling good, I'm on my on-time era. Love this for me loads. So yeah, I'm just gonna say a quick little prayer, play some worship music, and let's get this interview. Coming back to load shedding at six o'clock to continue packing in the dark. <laughs> and then tomorrow we're off to Cape Town, baby. I don't even have space on my camera, so I don't even know how I'm starting a new vlog. But one thing about me, I'm gonna make a plan anyways. Bye, see All you right, at so nine four seven. At Monty on time. I'm glad I came at the time I did though, cause there's literally no parking. All the levels are full. I even had to call my mom to send me money <laughs> for parking. Imagine but anyways it's 20 past so i have about 10 minutes to get to the studio at least i know where it is i'll just need to find my bearings because i've never used this parking before but yeah guys let's go it's time and wow would you have it i literally forgot my tripod and that's the one thing i didn't want to forget and then i forget it so i really hope there's some way for me to put my camera in the studio but yeah let's go see you guys inside National Responsible Gambling Program 0800 006 008. T's and C's apply. All Showbird Day is captured by Galaxy Z. Just the way you want. Mic check. One, two, one, two. Get your tickets now. All right, there we go. Um. Anyway, sorry, I was just was very busy. How are you? Good, thanks, and you? Good. Um. Any questions before we go on? Um, no, unless there's anything I need to know. Just ask you maximum like probably five questions, but be chilled, expand if you want. Okay. Um, yeah, just you telling, we say one person is listening, because I wouldn't say the one you telling <laughs> the person is listening. Okay. Why they must work for you, or why they must root for you, why they must follow you. Okay. Uh, what you're about. Yeah, be as open as you are on your socials. Okay. Um, <laughs> Yeah, I've treated it as like, um, Okay, one person. Yeah. Just the microphone and, yeah. Oh, okay. So you use those headphones there, by you? Okay. Yeah. This one is superheroes. And speaking of superheroes, right, on the 9th of September, you might consider some of the people that will be there as your superheroes. They keep you going all the time. The DSTV Content Creator Awards are just around the corner, happening on the 9th of September at the Galleria in Santon. These awards celebrate local influencers, content creators, brands, and agencies behind thumb-stopping content. Remember, it's up to you to decide who the winners will be in the public voting categories across emerging content creator Funniest content, alter ego, song of the year, and so much more. Here to tell us more about the awards and what it means to be a nominee within the Emerging Content Creator Award powered by 947. She's a rising fashion and lifestyle influencer with a growing online presence. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm joined by Natalie Wera. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Hi. How are you? <laughs> Good, thanks. And you? I'm uh, fantastic. So did you tell mommy and friends and everyone will be joining me? 100%. Uh -huh. <laughs> so you've got Natalie Wera fans listening right now. I wish. <laughs> I'm sure. I'm sure. I'm sure. How are you? I'm good, thanks. How are you? I'm fantastic. So being an influencer, being, you know, someone who does content can't be easy, right? I want to hear about the first ever video you put out and you were like, I'm actually dope at this. Way <laughs> there's the first ever video I put out that's a bit cringe that's like I never want to see it again and then there are those videos that you put out and you're like okay this is actually quite good and I think the only ones that I would say like oh these are really dope were videos from maybe last year yeah 
And also, you say there was this video that was so cringe. I want to hear about it. Because then it means you got better and better and better. Now you're nominated. <laughs> um, I think it was just the intro video when I first started my YouTube channel. Um, I guess it's only cringe now looking back at it because I was just like so nervous mm -hmm. and I was so shy. And like, yeah, I didn't really know how it was going to turn out. And tell us more about your content now, now that you're over that cringe process and you figured out, you know, the people that you want to make content for, what kind of content do you make now? Um, the kind of content I make now, I think, is really good content. I think it's award-winning content. <laughs> um, it's very much, it's high-quality content. It's good storytelling. Um, yeah, and I think it's entertaining. All right, so to be nominated, right, at the DSTV Content Creator Awards is a huge deal for you, right? So when you found out, where were you? What happened? Who did you tell first? Uh, so when I found out, I was actually at the venue <laughs> for the nominee announcement um, and it was honestly just such a surreal moment, like it really didn't feel real. I think especially because they called my name last, so by the time they got to like the fourth person, I was like, ah, you know, better luck next time. So it was a really, really happy moment. Um, the first people I called actually was my mom and my aunt and then my best friend as well. Young lady, I went to your YouTube and I checked out some of your videos. And you're quite open. Like we've got apartment tours, like you travel with us. Is there anything that makes you nervous still to post? Um, I just try not to think about it. Um, I really believe in authenticity and I think that is a big cornerstone of my personal brand. A lot of social media, a lot of people, you know, they just feel like it's not real or people just showing their best parts or whatever. So I really want people to connect with me like human being to human being. So mm -hmm. as much as I show the highlights, I also do like to show that we also still go through the most. So yeah, I just try not to think about it. I just feel like I'm putting it into like a black hole and I just think like no one's gonna watch it. What made you enter the DSTV Content Creator Awards? I felt like I had nothing to lose. I'd actually entered it, I don't want to say as a joke, but like, I remember I was sitting in bed and I was just like, ah, might as well. Like, <laughs> I have nothing to lose. I didn't actually think that it would amount to something, but I'm so glad that it did. So your name is Natalie Uwera, if you're listening right now. Uh, what can we expect? Like, if I want to tune in for the first time and I'm like, actually, I like this girl's vibe. I want to see her YouTube and all her channels. I want to see, you know, social media. What can I expect from your channel? You can expect a lot of openness, like you mentioned. You can expect high quality visuals, um, cinematics, good storytelling, and just an all around good vibe. It's like having an online bestie. An online bestie. <laughs> all right, so how can we vote for you? Uh, what do you want us to know about you? Uh, what's the one thing that you like? Listen, I I'm telling you right now, I'm that great because of this. Um, could you please ask a question again? How can we vote for you? Okay, you can vote for me by going to www.dstvcontentcreator.com.